Hello, my name is Farnoosh Ronaqi and uh, I, want, I want to talk about our recent paper which is about a noisy deep neural network fusion framework for a stock price movement prediction. Predicting a stock market movements is one of the key challenging problems in financial econometrics that has attracted many research attention over past decades. Recently, there has been interest in using of advanced machine learning based solutions considering different available information sources, such as historical prices or news to predict stock movements. It should be considered that a stock movement prediction is a time series problem that is affected by temporal dependencies between movement predictions. For example, when a company faces a major economic issue, such as current COVID-19 pandemic crisis on a trading day, its stock price will decrease in its price slope in the coming trading days. A stock movement predictor needs to be cautious about such unexpected resistance, recognizing the appear, appear decline pattern. Otherwise, neglecting these time intervals when public information such as company economic issues or any probable one wrong doing which can potentially affect the movements linked to the media but diminish the preciseness and accuracy of the financial forecasts. To address these issues, there is an urgent need to design and implement advanced fusion strategies seeking to provide robust stock movement predictions. So, in this paper, we construct new information fusion models to analyze and interpret trends based on both stock prices and Twitter news. Our trading target is considered one for upper changes and zero for lower changes. Data set is divided into categories, one prices and second tweeters. Data are collected from 1st January 2014 to 1st January 2016 for 88 different stocks. Our data are divided in three parts. Training set, which is from 1st of January 2014 to 1st of August 2015. Validation set, which is from 1st of August 2015 to 1st of October 2015. And the remain is denoted to test set, which is from 1st of October 2015 to 1st of January 2016. In particular, the proposed model is designed based on sequential context. Our model is built based on a hybrid attention network formalization to utilize both news level and temporal level attentions. To achieve these goals, a multi-model fusion framework is constructed by coupling extracted information from social media and stock market prices. We use hybrid attention network. We use NLTK package to process tweets with particular Twitter mode, including tokenization and hashtags. NLTK is an open source algorithm that provides ready to use packages in order to help natural language processing to solve linguistic problems. Each temporal input fused prices and corpse embeddings. So we constructed X with corpse embedding, which denotes to C, and prices, which is denoted to P. Norm, a normalized raw 
price data based on its last adjusted closing price. And finally, the available messages are provided as input to a message embedding layer, where for each word within the news corps, we use word embedding layer to calculate the embedding vector, which is then averaged across all the word vectors to construct a news vector. A pre-trained unsupervised glove model is used as a word embedding layer. Not all the news have the same importance. We construct an attention layer to sum the news weighted by an attention value. In order to reward the information content of news, at first we feed news to the news level attention layer. At first, we construct attention layer to sum the news weighted by an attention layer. Second, uh, we fit a normalized attention weighted, which is calculated through the softmax soft function. And finally, we sum all the vectors. For encoding temporal information embedded within the news corps and financial time series, gated recurrent neural network is integrated within the NDSMPF fusion framework. The GRU is a type of recurrent neural network that uses gating mechanism to check the state of sequences without requiring separate memory cells. To encode temporal layer, we adapt noisy bidirectional GRU to fit X. Since news are published at different dates contribute to stock trend, we design a temporal level mechanism which incorporates both inherent temporal patterns and the news content to distinguish the temporal differences. First, we encoded corpse vector. Second, we fit it to softmax layer. And finally, we sum all the vectors. The output of the temporal attention layer is then provided as input to fully connected fusion layers where we have incorporated Gaussian noise layers to improve on robustness of model. This completes presentation of the proposed NSTF fusion framework. The stack movement is a classification problem. The output is if the adjusted stack price of a specific day is more than the previous day, the output would be one denoting the rise. And if the expected value for the adjusted price of a day is less than that of the previous day, the output will be zero denoting the fall. Batch size of 32 within 15 epochs, and we used 100 hidden neurons. We also used an unsupervised glove in the message embedding layer. Our models are trained with an ADAM optimizer. And we normalize our layers with batch normalization for accelerating the training process. We run our model and we fit different data sets to our model. First, we fit our tutor data and the accuracy became 50.26%. After, we fit our tutor data again and uh, we, just, uh, we just construct our model based on news level attention layer. So the accuracy become 57.58%. At the third time, 
the views of our two data, cheater data and price data for two year in our model. So the accuracy became 58.63%. At the fourth time, fourth time uh, we use bidirectional LSCM instead of bidirectional GRU, and we feed our fused uh, two-year Twitter data and two-year price data to our bidirectional LSCM model. So we get 54.42% accuracy. And finally, we extended our price data to five years and we fused our two years Twitter data and five year price data and we got the accuracy of 65.96% accuracy. The accuracy of all five models are, are shown in figure one which is in the left of the slide. The loss function associated with the evaluated models is illustrated in the figure two, which is in the right side of the slide. Loss function demonstrates the distinction between the output of the model and the target value in order to show the probability of misclassification. As the figure one, the accuracy shows uh, the model, our model, which is, which is the fuse of two year price data and uh, five year of price data and two year of Twitter data has got the, uh, more accuracy. And our loss shows that in, at each epoch, the models, are the loss of the models are decreases. Thank you for your concentration.